Hi guys, so um, this is the day I, I left uh, the uh, after two days of staying in, uh, in that family, uh, in that uh, home. I'm now leaving and I'm approaching, uh, there are some small, I see a, a greenhouse and uh, some uh, um, panels, solar panels also, and that one is the commune which was, I was supposed to go, but uh, I stayed in this, uh, in this home and um, if the people <laughs> that uh, hosted me are watching this video I salute you and uh, I wanted to say that uh, as I already told them that they were the uh, nicest and uh, saner mentally and humanly that I ever found in Italy in general really the way they live really and uh, it's it's for me it gives me hope really. Although there are very few that do this, but they you know, rely on, uh, on nature, on uh, no electricity, just a solar panel, and uh, lots of knowledge about nature and uh, natural remedies and uh, ways to do things in, uh, in home, in curing and uh, everything in a good way. So. The problem is these guys. Now, uh, since we are, we as humanity today are completely uh, divided by our, because we are infected mentally by many kinds of uh, operating systems that we use in our head, it is really hard to, uh, to make us uh, go along with each other so I managed to do that with, uh, with this family and uh, this was the first time ever that I stayed in one place more than one night except in uh, but that uh, there I had to pay so it doesn't count because yes that guy was friendly when I did the other walk San Benedetto in uh, Rocca Sinibalda it's the only time I stayed more than one day because it was beautiful but not for other than that and uh, but here it was different these people are were it was great uh, talking with them also very intelligent people and um, I learned a lot and everything they of course didn't want to, to be interviewed or to use the cameras, although I use the cameras a little bit just to to comment about the, the day, you know, and uh, because I, I I want, as I said, I I do these views just to include what's beautiful, what's interesting, and what's functional in this world. So I had to do some hidden <laughs> filming, and sorry for that, guys, but but uh, I had to, even though they told me that. We do not want uh, attention. They have been offered uh, to by uh, many more important journalists than me <laughs> to be uh, to show how they live, the way they live, and everything. But of course, they have rejected because uh, the dumb society we have today would depict them as being uh, cavemen or. Know, without electricity or just as savages you know so in my opinion they have done they do this for their own protection they don't want to so if in any way my uh, my footage is, uh, is 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 not good for you guys just tell me and I will remove it so I hear these people scream, they are making some uh, walks. So this is the other commune, uh, Pian Baruzzoli, or Baruccioli, as some say. Uh, very funny, I, I, it's the end of October, 
and I still found uh, uh, blackberries, which is very rare. I've never seen blackberries in end October. And this place is really, really beautiful nature. So I, uh, I have two options. One is to at least go and see the situation there and see these people, how they are, how, how, how nice they are and everything, and how they will uh, see me and everything. Or I have the option to just go behind this mountain and uh, do not go at all at them because it's also early morning and uh, to present yourself there early morning and ask them you know to, to stay there it's a bit weird you know maybe if it was a little bit darker maybe it could be an option to ask them to to sleep but uh, otherwise you know i have just a few <laughs> just a few stuff to share with them just a few uh, chestnuts with which maybe it's their property that, that i pick up and uh, some uh, walnuts so i could just offer my uh, hard work <laughs> to them but uh, you know everything depends on how i would see them when i arrive at that point there because the the road divides in two one goes at their place oh i see them with mo mountain bike now going down the valley maybe are, they are coming here so maybe i'll ask them now just uh, see maybe are these people with mountain bike are, are just passing them who knows so i have the option to either go here or i have that option of uh, this uh, isolated refuge in 1200 meters high but uh, i don't know if that would be all for myself because it's sunday today and uh, sheep will move usually at Sunday so maybe there is someone there but if uh, so let's see if I can uh, talk with these guys or, or not or stay here or go to the next one è la prima volta che sto qua guardo un po' la mappa e sto valutando un po' quale percorso fare quello Vabbè, il mulino è chiuso. Sì, sì, no, no, il mulino lo dicevo solo così come punto dove eh, di direzione, poi dopo andrò... Ma non è nella direzione della capanna. Queste sono tipo modificate in qualche modo? Ma oh, questo è GPS, figo. Well, as you can see, as you can see, uh, these guys really helped me. I found them uh, just near to the, this refuge where I will stay for tonight. So it will be my second time sleeping alone. So as, as you saw, I didn't uh, slept at that uh, commune there because the vibe wasn't right. And uh, the, you know, people when you see when they see someone uh, st uh, a stranger. Uh, they want first to meet you maybe i went at the at a situation where, where they uh, didn't uh, uh, were preparing food or whatever so it didn't work the vibe was not good uh, especially there was this uh, woman which was very very mean because she she made fun of me because uh, i was asking her uh, lots of questions about you know places where i could sleep and everything and she would say to me you know but where are you going and uh, you know you, you doesn't seem very sure where are you going okay ship okay okay i don't know where i'm going i wanted to to, to make sure you know where all these refuges are so that i cannot uh, suck the the priest's dick guys this is why i like these places because these are beautiful places very hard to get here i'm uh, 1200 meters high it's very high very hard to get here but at least I have, uh, you know, wood, wood here. Uh, these people gave me also to eat, guys. 
they gave me bread and something to spread to spread on the bread. Look at the 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 wood that he cut cut it, you know. So it was huge like this. I couldn't uh, cut it like this. If, if it wasn't for them, I don't know how I, how I could have done this. You know, the fire started and everything. And uh, the only problem, of course, with this, uh, you know, I have lots of chestnuts, lots of chestnuts to to eat, and there is a, a grill there to put on the fire. So, you know. Uh, you know, I was thinking about this woman, you know, that made fun of me just because I was asking too much question. And so she told, eh, but this place is over there and this place is over there. You doesn't seem very sure to where are you going, you know. It's dummy. So anyway, I just, you know, nicely saluted her and everything. So t two people in this commune were, were friendly, but this uh, reptilian woman <laughs> was not. I say reptilian all the time with people that are um, uh, very mean people. For example, I would see people that uh, would, uh, with the first impression when they just meet you, they are suspicious. These are mean people, guys. Where When the, uh, people salute you and they are friendly, open and smile, for example, these are human beings. But when they are, without knowing you, already suspicious, these people are fucked up in the head. So. Uh, I say uh, reptilians because uh, there is a guy here on YouTube in Italy that uh, says that people, uh, many of us are, are possessed by evil spirits which, are, which he uh, says are reptilian. So it, it's a good analogy for me to, to just, you know, the, the world is divided in, uh, in good people and uh, fucked up people. So uh, I, like, I like this analogy that he uses. So when I say a reptilian, I mean dumb people you know so uh or they maybe here they really are possessed who knows you know so uh can you believe it guys you are a woman and especially here in the west and especially here in italy guys they make television programs like woman and donna uh, where they portray men as uh, stupid as just uh, with uh, taking out his hairs facial hairs just like like dummies and the woman would just talk and they show this to the sheeple and so the sheeple uh, this uh, woman here in Italy is being programmed to to treat a man as a as a as a dummy as a dummy and so they have the nerve you know to uh, say something like this to me, you know, because she, she didn't even told to me that you are not sure about where you're going. He told to someone else. Someone else was trying to help me to get direction, and, and she said, "No, but this guy doesn't look like he he is really sure where he's going. It's like this guy looks like crazy. It's just like that. A woman to a man like this, you know, this stuff would never have happened." Not long ago. Woman, shut up and let the man talk. The, the man was like a dummy. Oh, but maybe he should go like this. Like kids, guys. This is programming. Look at the pyramid here. Anyway, guys. I'm here with the cows here. So I'm not alone. <laughs> There's cows. I have milk here also. So, I mean, lighting. Lighting is important. I have to do something about lighting. Because I I I uh, forgot the candles to take candles. Unfortunately, there's no candles here. There is this light here, but needs batteries. I have only one battery here. I made the mistake of not t uh, taking with me my rechargeable batteries. So uh, that's it, man. The commune didn't work. I found this. Uh, I I I know that maybe if I. Uh, if I work harder on them, and uh, but when there is evil people around you, I mean, it's the 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 mood would completely change. Uh, where I stayed uh, in Trafossi with this uh, those uh, that couple, it, it, they they were they had kids and uh, were very nice people. So, but with uh, all that in that that commune, there was something wrong there. But as I said, with that uh, woman only. So look at that, guys. 
If it wasn't for this guy that cut me wood, I mean, it would have been impossible. <laughs>